So we're now cooking a, a spring vegetable risotto using the ingredients of the season. So we're using peas, broad beans, courgette for our vegetables. Then of course we're using uh, Viarone Nano rice, which is the best rice to make risotto. Then we're using olive oil and butter, a shallot, white wine, and then it wouldn't be a risotto without parmesan cheese. We're going to top it off with pesto and lightly toasted pine nuts. We've made a fresh stock with vegetables, so it's a proper stock, uh, with uh, celery, onion and carrot. We let it boil for about an hour. We're then going to add some salt right at the end. Um, we're going to taste it and if it's really, really good, then we'll be ready to make risotto. So, I'm going to put this on. There we go. So, and we've used, we're using a fresh stock, freshly prepared stock. Um, you can use um, stock cubes or whatever stock you've got around, but we've decided to make a fresh stock today. Um, see, very simple, simple to make. Um, you just put some cold water in a pot with an onion, uh, a celery stick, a carrot, a bay leaf and a few peppercorns. That's all you need. You let it boil for about an hour and your stock is really, really tasty. Just at the very end, just before you using your stock for the risotto, you put some salt in. The reason why we don't put the salt at the beginning is because as the, the stock boils, it reduces down and the salt becomes really concentrated. Therefore, the, the stock becomes really, really salty. So we always salt this at the end. So you, you need to be quite generous because the thing is, if it's not, it doesn't taste nice and it's not tasty, your risotto will not be tasty at the end. So we've added salt. I've let this salt melt and I'm tasting the stock. Be very careful because it's boiling. So I think it needs more salt. Okay, so a little bit more. We let it bubble away. And then we're ready to make risotto. Okay, so we're making risotto primavera. First of all, we start off by cooking the vegetables. And we have here courgettes, peas, and broad beans. So we have a nice hot pan. We put some olive oil in. We then add our courgettes. And we let them cook very briefly. We want to retain the color of the, of the vegetables, so we don't want them to cook for too long. Literally three, four minutes, five minutes maybe, depending on. I've tried to cut this quite small because every time you cook a risotto, you want to adjust your vegetables or your uh, meat to the grain of rice. So the rice is quite small, so you don't want big chunks of vegetables in there. Um, it's very important when you cook risotto that you don't um, add the rice at this stage. What you do is you cook your, your vegetables first, then we're going to put them aside, then we're going to cook the risotto, and then we're going to add the vegetables at the end. There's a very simple reason for that. If we put rice now, now in, um, the little grain of rice will hide behind the vegetables and they won't cook evenly. So it's very important that you don't cook everything at the same time, but you cook the vegetables or your chicken or whatever the ingredients that you're going to use separately and then add them really towards the end. But we're using the same pan to cook risotto, so all the uh, flavors of the vegetables will be there. You don't really want to brown the vegetables, you just want to soften them. So we probably need to lower the gas. We're doing this on medium heat. So we, we're cooking the, the vegetables on medium heat because we don't want them to brown, we just want them to soften. At this point we're adding the peas. Peas take really little time to cook. Again, we're just making sure they're all nicely um, warm through. Okay. And now we add in the broad beans. That 
that's it that's all you need to cook the vegetables for um, all in all what four minutes um, depending on again the amount of vegetables we've got there and now we're going to put them aside Brilliant. 